In this video, I do a filling horny and Walmart prank, as well as piping the world-renowned Bucky's to figure out if it's a pipe zone or not. Finally, we finish it off with the Firefighter Museum for Firefighter Kev. A little horny after that long drive. Running on literally two brain cells, this video was made. Please enjoy. At least it made the workers' day. And no I think it's kind of kind of goofy. Just gonna get also, this is Mr. Beast's Walmart, so video I think it's pretty funny that I was able to film some content in... Pickle One of the greatest home bases, his Ooh. own personal Walmart. And make a lot Step of the work group day closer. early in the morning. On. Feastables! Quest for Feastables. <laughs> Seven in the morning. Alright, this is just the start. After this, we're gonna get some breakfast. Try out the Mr. Beast Feastable from the specific Greenville location. And after that, we're about to lay some mean pipe in buckets. So stay tuned. Sorry I didn't pipe your Walmart. We're not sure if it's a pipe zone or not. But if you want to uh, lay some horn, you can. Nothing like some morning chocolate. It's gone. It's not bad. The fuck is so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my shit, man. I need my coffee or I need sleep. <laughs> oh, 816, someone's just gambling at the slot machine in there. One, no two, way, one, two, yeah. Instagram. We just go around figuring out places or pipe zones or not. So we're about to figure out if Bucky's is a pipe zone. Going to go lay some pipe. Pickle feet. We're here outside Bucky's in Carolina. We're going to figure out if it's a pipe zone or not. Let's get it. my reference how could they how could they do this to us pickle platoon what's going on i mean i love the store but if i can't lay pipe in here i can't support it i cannot believe what just happened in there no pipe and buckies uh shout out to the fan from maine i gave the pipe zone certificate to him unfortunately buckies was not a pipe zone getting rough i gotta drop anchor firefighter kev has been in there for a little bit i'm refusing to drop anchor in a store that does not take pipe just saying Just as much as 
because I talk about YouTube stuff and making videos, which is a lot. So we're really hoping that this museum will help him get it all out of his system. All the firefighting mumbling will not go stop, or it'll amplify and like maybe die off, or maybe he'll learn more stuff and talk about it more. Yeah, American La France, let's go. Oh man. Fire Museum, North Charleston Visitor Center. <laughs> this report, depending on the size, can do 165 to 185 gallons per minute, depending on whether it's a 15 16th or a 7 8th nozzle. This one can only go 125 gallons per minute. So you're saying it's wrong? Yes. Wow. All right, finish up the firefighter museum. We're going to go see our old neighbor, Stephanie. All right, just met up with the OG neighbor. It was nuts to see her. Yeah. Literally nuts. We were absolutely exhausted by the time we got to the hotel, but luckily we still had enough energy to go out for some awesome chicken. This was a five-star restaurant. This is feeling way too tropical. James, that just tells me you haven't been out of sea too much. I really haven't. <laughs> I've been to more of European countries than states in America. Another case of firefighter Kev spotting a fire truck it goes absolutely insane every time, but he didn't yell this time, which was quite surprising. Big D! Oh, buddy. Captain D's. Captain. I mean, we're like a two minute walk back, dude. Just get him to go. This little chicken restaurant was absolutely fire. It only had chicken sandwiches and two types, but man, did it. Iron Lotus Tattoo. Uh, I'm older. Okay, I'm two. All right, nine o'clock. We're about to head down for breakfast, and we got an epic day of hiking and camping today. More chill.